mayor of Kansas City. And remember I talked to you about how you go to school in the Raytown School District, but that your address is actually in Kansas City. So that means um, Mayor James is your mayor. So sometimes you'll see him on TV. And you know the big whole area of Kansas City downtown and the whole big area of Kansas City? He is the mayor of that whole big city. Isn't that cool? I mean, he's pretty, he's pretty famous, actually. Uh, so, <laughs> no, not really. <laughs> but he came to read to you today, so I will let him do that. There's a right there for you. Hey, what's up, guys? How are you doing today? Yeah. I haven't seen ranks and files this neat since I was in the Marine Corps. Who got you, in, who got you all lined up? Was it your teachers? Yes. Just for this time period while we're here, you can actually talk really loud if you want to. <laughs> Who got you riled up? Who got you lined up? Your teachers? Yes. Oh, come on now. Who got you lined up? Your teachers? Yes. Your teachers did? Yes. They got it done real well, didn't they? Yes. You guys are looking sharp today. You ready to read? Yes. All right, good. I am too. Let's see here. We have, this is the second grade book. Can I bring my woolly to the library, Ms. Reader? Hmm. Well, I don't know how many of you actually have woolies. How many of you have woolies at home? Just you? You do too? Okay. So you didn't bring them to the library today? Nobody would let you bring your woolly to the library today? Okay. All right. So here's how we're going to do this, okay? You know that your teachers have the special ability, right? Your teachers can read to you like this, can't they? You've seen teachers read like this upside down? No. Yeah, have you ever seen teachers do that? Yeah. I'm not a teacher. I can't do that. Only teachers have those special powers. Mayors have to read like normal people read, and that is I will read the page, and I'll turn it around so you can see the pictures. Does that work for you? Yeah. All right. Now, if you can't see the picture, all you got to do is raise your hand, and I'll make sure you can see it, okay? Okay. All right. A couple of questions real quick. What is a book written by the writer called? A writer writes about him or herself. What's that called? What's it called? No, not quite. What's that called? Uh, that's close, but it's a specific type of book, not who writes it or who draws, but a book. And it's written by the person writing about him or herself. You know what that's called? Not quite. You're, you're getting closer. What do you think? A nonfiction. Very close. It is nonfiction, although sometimes when people write about themselves, it could be fiction. <laughs> okay? It happens a lot, believe it or not. It's called an autobiography because auto means self and biography means about one's life. So if somebody else writes a biography about some person, oh, well, I guess that's what it's called, isn't it? It's a biography. I gave away the answer and the question, all right? So, now, who writes a book? What's the person who writes a book called? Yes. No, that's what the, that's the name of the book. What's the person who writes the book? What do you think? An author. So then the person who draws in the book, draws the pictures, is the illustrator. So now what we have here, we have Lois G. Grambling is the author, and Judy Love is the illustrator. So Judy's responsible for the pictures, and Lois is responsible for the words. I'm responsible for reading. You're responsible for listening. We're all responsible for having a little fun this morning. Can we do that? Yes! Oh, no, that doesn't even sound like fun. Can we do that? Yes! There we go. Okay. I was worried that if Willie came to stay with us, he would get homesick, like I did at camp last summer. Being so far from home at the North Pole, he'd miss his parents a lot. And the snowy, frozen weather, too. So Wooly won't be coming to the library, but he has a friend who will be visiting family around here. Wooly's friend loves to curl up with a good book. So, Wooly's sad. Got a tear there in the eye, wants to go to the library, can't get into the library. You guys ever sad because you can't get into some place you want to go or do something you want to do? Okay, somebody's shaking their head. No, I know better. I know better. I know that you had a tear in your eye because you wanted to do something you weren't able to do, right? So, if Wooly can't go to the library, can I bring Saber to the library, Miss Reader? Can I please? Well, 
you know, if you can bring a mammoth to the library, what's to say that you can't bring a saber-toothed tiger to the library? I do think that it would probably be a good idea to have them there at separate times. I'm not sure they always get along. Okay? So, did you guys like Wooly? Yeah. Yeah? So, are you going to take Wooly to the library now? You still have Wooly, right? Okay. Anybody else? Somebody else that have Wooly. Do you have woolly too? Both of you have woolies? Has anybody seen their woolies? No. So, can you bring them to show and tell? Yes. Can you bring them to school tomorrow? No. What, are they working tomorrow? No. Okay. All right. So, we have a little time. Do we before the next class? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we'll be here probably about five minutes. Okay. So, why don't we have... A conversation. What do you guys want to know? Yes, ma'am. Right there. What's my name? I am, my name is Sly James. Yes. You've seen me before? It wasn't on a post office wall, I don't know. Good. Then we're fine. I, I seem to be around a little bit so people do.